brings us to our stage. Where the light must learn to love the black. The dark sentence Trouble finding league games. There is a way. Amateur Hour Commentary. Be sure to check out our Patreon for Discord recognition, exclusive content, early access, and more. Such as this. <laughs> How long is this going for? <sighs> and this. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure to check out our Discord. Just click on the icon on your screen. Just kidding, it's in the panels below. No longer do you have to search for games to watch. Kick back and let the games come to you. Follow Amateur Hour today and join everyone else who has said Thanks, Amateur Hour. Thanks, Amateur Hour. Oh, thanks, Amateur Hour. Amateur Hour commentary. We've got you covered. Welcome everybody to the Amateur Hour Commentary Channel. Uh, tonight's matchup in the North American Firewall League Season 2 quarterfinals is between Chicken Noodle Soup and Need 3. Um, I know everyone's really excited for this one. Uh, I myself, um, there's our class of boy. <laughs> um, I, I too am very, very excited for this match. Um, however, I am staying up to date in the uh, captain's chat, and it uh, looks like Need 3 is having some difficulties finding a fourth member. Um, so uh, we're going to continue to stream until we get verification of it, whether or not the match is going to be tonight or if it's going to be pushed one more day because they said that they would definitely be able to play tomorrow, but we're waiting on Chicken Noodle Soup to confirm that they can. And if that's the case... Um, we're just going to do a quick rundown of what's to come and then, uh, we may close stream, but I hope you all are having a good night. Titch, how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yeah, we, we were here anyway. We we're sitting down. We had everything set up, so we figured we don't have confirmation that it's not happening, but we don't have confirmation that it is happening. So we figured, you know what, let's just do this anyway. Yeah. Um, so in the meantime, while we got the time, sometimes we're rushed why don't we check out who's on each team if we can and uh get an idea of who we will be watching now just keep in mind that some of these cards have not been 
100% updated. Um, so there are a few members on Chicken Noodle Soup in particular um, that is no longer on the team. But we have Vong, 860, Shutdown, NSX Pro, Naughty Boy, and Zamic. Snail Trail is no longer on the Chicken Noodle Soup team. Uh, she had joined another team uh, that did fairly well. Um, but uh, that makes up Chicken Noodle Soup. Yeah, on the other side of the ring, uh, in the gray corner, <laughs> uh, we have Phobian, Hey Voon, The Boss Fiend, uh, Blazion, Cthulhu180, and uh, Delta Charlie. Let's uh, typo on the card there. Uh, so it is actually Delta, not Delta. <laughs> uh, but, I uh, don't think I've seen Delta Charlie play. I think it's primarily been Phobian, Hey Voon, and The Boss Fiend. I think on occasional Blazion. Yeah, and Cthulhu. <coughs> um, oh, shoot. My phone just turned off. You're going to need uh, A and B. If you're so a uh, real quick update. It looks like Chicken Noodle Soup can play tomorrow, but uh, they're saying that they have to play by 8. Um, they, don't, they don't really have a lot of wiggle room. Um, and it looks like Need 3 is agreeing to the time. Um so it looks like tonight's match will be pushed out till tomorrow, though. Let's just keep in mind. Um, yep. Thank you, NSX. Really appreciate that, man. Um, we need to keep in mind that the the rules did um, state that the game needed to be played by today. But Good Host is being a fair leader and giving them a one-day extension. Uh, so thank you, Gudos, for that. Um <laughs> but it looks like, yes, it's been pushed till tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will have the match. Yeah, which unfortunately is a... I prefer the 9 o'clock starts. They're a little easier. It's, it's hard for me to get on at 8. It's a real rush. My daughter goes to bed at 8, so I'm usually around uh, the time where we're supposed to be getting on and getting set up. I'm usually, you know, doing a whole run around fatherly duty, which is why I usually prefer uh, slightly yeah. late starts. But it is what it is. We will make do with what we got. But while we're here... Why don't we take a look at the standings? Let's see what Paco's, uh, our friendly ghost, has been doing in the background here. Group A. So this is going to be for chicken noodle soup. Uh, or no, sorry. Group A is need three. My bad. Um, so need three total 13 points overall. Um, getting 50 maps, uh, 50 wins uh, under their belt for this season. Uh, and it looks like uh, first week they played uh, Barrage. Uh, they lost that one 7-5. Uh, Power Rangers at ten to two, Shizona Killers uh, eight to four, uh, Need Three versus Killing Joke ten to two, versus Goon Platoon six six tie during week five there. Uh, week Ooh. six they played uh, NAC with an eight to four, which is a very respectable uh, uh, yeah I score agree. I would I would say. Uh, week seven. Uh, the final match against Unknown, which actually they won, and that was what actually got them into the finals. Yeah, so they did. They had a pretty good run. Uh, seems as though they they didn't. They only lost one overall, but they did tie one round, so they didn't get the full three points. They only got the one point. But yeah, I would have to say they they did fairly well. They went up against Barrage, who's a difficult team. But uh, I agree with you, Titch. That score against uh, uh, NAC is very respectable. You're off tomorrow, Rob, so you'll be there. That's awesome. I uh, play for Need 3. Unfortunately, uh, I'm assuming that's Kuchak because Kuchak's always on, the, on that account. Uh, so the rules there, so they actually tried to pull Endzone in, but uh, it was uh, shut down because anybody registered for another team, unfortunately, cannot sub in for another. So that's why uh, part of the reason why I got rescheduled they were having trouble finding somebody else, and the one person that they were going to pull in was unable to do it. Yeah. So I'm, we... just, I'm just reading the captain's chat, and there's some stuff happening. It's kind of funny. Do um, you want to uh, you want to take away uh, chicken noodle soups? Uh... Sure. Yeah. Let's transition over to that and see how well chicken noodle soup did throughout the year, or season, I should say. Um, so overall, they are leading their group, um, unsurprisingly, uh, with a total of 71 overall wins and uh, with an overall score of 21 points. They did not lose once, so um, that's pretty remarkable. But again, they are the second place uh, 
uh, winners uh, from the first season, so or at least the majority of the team is. So uh, I'm not too surprised about that score. We look at week one, they uh, came out ahead against Meat Pack with a score of 10 to two, um, and then we saw a similar score, or you know, pretty close. We see another victory in week two against 420 Kings with a score of 11 to one. And we move on to week three, and there they went up against the Four Horsemen with a score of 9-3 to three and 1. Um, pretty good score by Four Horsemen. Uh, so far, they, uh, as of week three, they actually held the most victories against Chicken Noodle Soup, so kudos to them. Um, and then week four, there's a score of 8-4 to four against Duganauts. I heard that was a really, really good game. Unfortunately, I don't think we covered it. I think we were covering another game that week, but it was a good match from what I, I heard. And actually, I did watch it, and the Duganauts really put up a good fight. Week five, Chicken Noodle Soup went up against the Gems uh, and got a shutout there with a score of 12 0. Week six, we see another 11 1 against these Vamps. And then week seven, we see a score of 10 2 against Chronic Masticator. So, um, unsurprisingly, again, Chicken Noodle Soup did a wonderful job, and they are coming out uh, the top of their group, and that is why they are here. I would say not unsurprising to most, as they were the runner-up for season one. So it's something you would expect them to do, and uh, they held true to their uh, held true to their legacy, as we put it. Yeah, they had they have a. I don't want to say that they have a lot to prove, but they have a lot to uh, you know stand up for. You know, they they've got their not only their pride, but they're also uh, also their uh, seed position um, right behind NAC. And the NAC match uh, that will be coming up um, is going to be an interesting one because uh, you know th- there's there's a lot riding on them. And right now, Hoon's Goons is uh, I mean overall out of all groups they have the most wins in the highest number of points so it if they end up going up against Hoon's Goons uh, I I can just imagine it's going to be a remarkable fight yeah I'm just trying to find uh, trying to find the standings for that I'm just going to check the uh, captain's chat here again there's so much going on <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, sorry about this, guys. Like I said, we were um, thinking that uh, it was going to be a go, but... Yeah, but we didn't want you to come in and not have at least some information and sitting yeah. and wait, especially because we have been trying to keep, uh, you know, keep you guys up to date as to when matches were actually going to happen. By the way... Um, I made a mistake because uh, in the captain's chat, I read a message that I thought was for yesterday, but it was actually sent on Saturday. <clears throat> and it was about the Hoon's Goons match against Death Squad 5. So I made an error and they did play last night. And Hoon's Goons came out victorious with a score of 12 to 0. Uh, so I do want to catch you guys up on that. And that was my mistake. Um, but it was also really, really late. And I know a couple of us couldn't stay to cover it anyway. But um, if you want to go check out the match, uh, you can. Um, there are, if you have the links to uh, either team, you can go check them out and, and watch that match. Um, even though it was kind of a steamroll, they did say that they struggled a little bit with getting the lobbies together. So it took a long time, about like two hours just to complete everything, which is, uh, from what they explain, very uncommon for them. So, um, NAC versus Meat Pack. <clears throat> was that one done? NAC versus Meat Pack? Yeah, that was the very first one that we covered. Is that the very first one we covered? Did we do that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, so NAC is then facing off. Um, well, and so NAC will face off the winner between uh, between this match. So between Chicken Noodle Soup and Need Three, uh, the winner of this will face off against NAC. Do do we see a rematch? In Possibly. Near- yeah. So the way the the way the standings work, winner of this will play NAC. Hoon's Goons plays the winner, or no? Well, we already know. Uh, so. The Hoon's Goons uh, Death Squad will play uh, Unknown. <clears throat> so, and then the winner of Unknown versus the Hoon's Death Squad match will move on to the finals, and then um, NEC versus this winner of this match will move on to the finals. 
That's how the bracket sits. That Hoon's Goons match, an unknown crew. I'm excited for that one. I'm I'm not gonna lie. The, what Unknown did, like yes, granted, I want I, I want to give props to both teams that had played, but Unknown Crew were they played in, incredibly well. So I'm I'm really excited for that match in particular. While I'm talking about the the uh, about the bracket system, I'm trying to be uh, I'm trying to be as neutral, but I mean. <laughs> Like the Hoon's Goons, whoever comes out versus Hoon, Hoon's Goons versus Death Squad. But I mean, it's 99.9% probably safe to say Hoon's Goons is probably going to advance out of that one. Oh, so, 100%. That, that's yeah. remaining objective. Um, yeah. That's not so, siding. That's that's just, you, yeah. you saw the stats, guys. Like you can't, so, you can't deny numbers. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be <laughs> realistic while trying to stay impartial as well. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna end up being probably Hoon's Goons versus Unknown, and that one's gonna be an interesting match. That's one I we, for sure we we'd like to get. Um, and then, like I said, depending on how this plays out, we could have an NAC versus Chicken Noodle Soup rematch. One for the decade. Uh, if and that's the thing, I I really don't know. Even with the stats that we currently have for both of these teams, um, you know, I don't really know. Uh, yeah, it is going to be a blood fest round. Absolutely. Uh, for this particular match, I don't know who's going to come out victorious. Um, I, I mean, I really don't know. I don't want to say Chicken Noodle Soup is absolutely going to come out on top. Uh, you know, they they did really, really well. They didn't lose a match, but at the same time, they didn't win as much as, like, let's say the Hoon's Goons, and they also didn't win nearly as much as I don't. I think they did in the first season. So um, this match really could go either way. And by the way, if you want to cast your vote, the poll is going to stay up through today and tomorrow. So if you want to go uh, check that out uh, now, you know where to find it um, and cast your vote. So if we <clears throat> try to logic this one out, but again, again, we're in two different groups here, but I mean, we can kind of <laughs> like moments. <laughs> huh? I know where you're going with that joker. <laughs> I said a ligma. Wins. Yeah. <laughs> um, so need three lost two matches and tied one. And those two were to Barrage, yeah. NAC, and the tie was to Goon Platoon. Mm -hmm. um, but Chicken Noodle Soup, man, they they lost a couple of maps. They they dropped some, but I mean, if you look at Need Three scores, yeah, they they have a lot of closer games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, they barely lost at like seven to five for that one versus Barrage. Yeah. Um, so the other one that they lost versus uh, NAC, like that was an eight to four. So they're definitely <laughs> this... not losing by much. Do we remember what the score was for uh, the the finals last last season? Ooh, I remember Vong saying that uh, it was going to be almost. Uh, I want to say it was like eleven to four. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't recall. Well, I don't. I don't know if it could have been eleven to four because it would end on even. We. I don't think we did the uh, first to eleven well, last season. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oof. Yeah. So I mean, you look at that. Like they took four games off of NAC. It, it could be a close match. And I mean, we got to also it. remember NAC isn't the same team that they were last year. I think they had a slight roster change too. So. That's true. They played some different people this time around, <clears throat> and I think they only ever dropped, most ever dropped was two matches last season, whereas uh, this season, um, like I said, needs three taking four games. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, definitely a different NAC this season. Not to say that they've done poorly. They they, they clearly have done well to get this far. Um but we, we may see a different fight if it comes down to chicken noodle soup in, in NEC. Uh, so it really could kind of go either way. And there could be some major upsets. We could see an upset tomorrow night uh, with Need 3 coming out victorious. I mean, who knows? And we could also see Unknown Crew somehow um, having the best night of their lives and beat Hoon's Goons. I mean, really, anything can it can go either way. Uh, we just don't know. But all these teams have worked so, so hard, and they have all proven themselves uh, that they deserve uh, proven and proven to everyone that they deserve to be here. So I'm, now, I'm not holding my breath for any <coughs> winner. Now, do you think, uh, do you think playoff pressure is a thing? 
Oh, for sure. I mean, it, things are a little bit more real now. Uh, during regular season, it was a matter of getting as many. It, it didn't matter how many wins you got once you got beyond the necessary amount to actually uh, get all three points. But now you're in the playoffs and it's an elimination. It's a whole different ball game. And if you're this close, you're this close, and you just want either first or second, um, it's a whole different amount of pressure. Uh, you know, that people people are definitely going to feel it. Even seasoned players are going to feel it, especially knowing what players are going to be going up against. Every every team that's in the quarterfinals now, moving in, you know, throughout the playoffs, that they, they they know each other. They know the stats. They've been paying attention. Uh, they've been watching the games. So um, I hope all the teams have actually been, um, you know, studying each other and, and figuring out new strategies because they're all going to have to come out with either some a new strategy or, or make their, their current strategy even better. So with that being said, then, uh, you'd have to kind of give chicken noodle soup slight advantage on that one with them making all the way to finals last season. And going up against NAC, which, like I said, last season was just an unstoppable force. So chicken noodle soup bumps ahead for not having or having to gone through the playoffs before and not necessarily having that playoff or less of that that playoff pressure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess chicken noodle soup would have that advantage going into this. But then again, they that can also make someone sloppy if they go in too comfortable. If they go in knowing, okay, we've been here before, um, we can kind of relax a little bit, just stick to our game. Uh, it, you, a team might find themselves um, losing more than they were expecting and kind of lose that momentum. And going into the playoffs and doing playoff matches, you really need that momentum uh, because you need that morale on your team high. So uh, if chicken noodle soup, again, if even though they are seasoned, they have been here before, if they let up even just a little bit and get a little too comfortable, need three could um, you know, take advantage of that and potentially come out ahead. Now, <clears throat> what about Paco? Do you think he's a little bit bored? <laughs> I, think, I think so, just a little bit. He's doing some stuff in the background here. He's just like oh, playing just around with Discord. <laughs> Why don't you just unmute yourself, man? Just let everybody hear you. There's no game going on. No? Okay. The Casper doesn't want to talk to you guys, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you want to, you can talk to him over in our Discord, even though he's kind of silent over there at times. Um, uh, occasionally he'll pop in, and I know he does check in on it every once in a while. So if you guys haven't joined our Discord, you can go ahead and do that. Again, the, the link's below. It doesn't cost anything. Join our community. We are growing, and we are also uh, stretching ourselves into – and Titch started this, so um, he he uh, entered the Pro League Discord. Um, so – uh, do you actually want to talk a little bit about the pro league and what's happening over there? Because what you told me today was actually news to me and I'm curious to, to see whether or not someone else uh, was unaware of it as well. Uh, so a lot of you probably are already aware of this as a lot of you I've seen in the, uh, in the pro league discord, but uh looks like pro league is starting an NA division an NA league. Yeah. So. I, I noticed a lot of different names. I, so, um, if, Fortunately, Titch invited me over, and I, I checked out a lot of the names there. And a lot of them we are all familiar with, if we're familiar with Firewall. Uh, a lot of European players, but there's also a lot of uh, North American players. So it'll definitely be interesting. I, I'm What I'm curious about is how that's going to work with the servers. And who's actually, are they just going to split halfway through? Um, are they going to uh, do so it's a mandatory split? Um, so I think for the most part, it's just them growing. So I don't know if a lot of, um, I don't believe, I don't know if there is a region lock. Okay. So as far as foreign, like there's no, there is no uh, rules that I've seen as of yet. So, you know, things could say, they say document, rule document will be added soon. So. Okay. Uh, we're waiting to see sort of what the what they set up for that, but um, yeah, because if you imagine... have an all European team against an all American team, that could really challenge the servers, as we all know. Until they get dedicated servers, which we all kind of thought was going to happen, but instead we got a map. Um, so uh, I, I, I am curious to see how that's going to be managed, or you know, you know obviously if if uh, by chance or by mandate, if both teams need to have a foreign player and um, they just run off of a single 
post, then I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. We'll have to stay up to date on that because I'm, I'm curious to see how that will work. Yeah, it might be something we we might look into to casting as well. Yeah, so. speaking of which, I think there is going to be a game this weekend. I. I oh, is it the? Um, uh, is it judges uh, versus Toby? Yeah, team versus Toby's team this weekend. Yeah, and he said it's going to be a really good match off. So that uh, will be a good match. So I I said to get me the information when he does get it, and we'll we'll see if we can get it together. If they can get it scheduled for Saturday, which he believes they will, I'll have to go back and, and see if he's he's informed me. But I haven't gotten anything yet. Yeah, Network Air uh, versus uh, uh, Return to Sender. So if you guys haven't checked out any of the Pro League stuff, we did cover a couple, but it was primarily with Return to Sender. But you can get, you guys can go check out uh, Demolition Sean's YouTube, and I think I think he streams on YouTube and Twitch. I watch him on Twitch, but I'm pretty certain he's on both platforms. You guys can go check out the Pro League and see how they run things and support them over there if you don't already, uh, because we, you know, they're trying to expand themselves, which is awesome. I think they're already what in sixth, seventh season, sixth season. <coughs> so uh, this is, I believe, their sixth season. Yeah, so so they've done this oh, for quite a bit here. already, and uh, you know they, they want to expand themselves and start including more of uh, more continents and 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 see if they can grow as as um, their league starts doing better and better. And they do have a different point system; they have different systems in place, so it's uh, going to be a slightly different experience. Um, fewer rounds might be shorter rounds it all depends on uh, the performance of each team but go check them out guys uh, truly like they're really really good players if you don't already uh, watch them and we will again be trying to cover uh, cover those those matches did we not um, set up a <coughs> pro league you guys asked me about you, you asked and I found out what season we were on because you were going to put it in <coughs> excuse me uh, but I can't see it. I guess we don't have a collections for that. They're just sort of. I don't recall, man. I can see the VODs, but they're not yeah. in their own. Oh, yeah. No, we didn't. We did not um, create a uh, collections for that, although I want to. Um, okay. Honestly, I, I was planning on doing it today, but plans changed drastically for me today. So I, I didn't have any time. Uh, well, if you should start pushing no point system, it should be based off of wins and losses like per map, which is what season one was. You, you played 12 games. And then if you won eight to four, that was your points. You got eight points, four points. Yeah. And it was really, really long. And it, it was around Robin. And so, yeah, like you, essentially you are winning based off of wins and losses but it's a best out of system and that keeps things clean um and it keeps it orderly so i don't want to necessarily push for something like that and besides i don't have any leverage <laughs> i'm just i'm just here broadcasting it um so i you know i don't really have much say regarding that but i, I think the current system is helpful uh, but as this particularly grows, I think they are going to have to expand and do um, like a majors league and a minors league or something like that. I know it was being discussed, but yeah, they're talking about splitting divisions um, or possibly doing different divisions next season to um, take some of the um, like hoons running through, ripping through an entire um group and basically putting <clears throat> so that was one of the things that like, i had suggested that uh y it would work well if you're doing really uh, like a relegation style so at the end of the season say top two teams from say your lower division is going to move up into your upper division and then the bottom two from your upper division would move down mm -hmm. um but then you have the issue of how do you keep track of say uh a team wins and wins the lower division is supposed to move into the second division, but they change up a couple of players, rename their team. But really <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Now it's like, okay, so do you give that win to each person? So, I mean, there, there will have to be to... like sub rules around that. 
you know, kind of like how the rules currently are. You can't, you can't have a substitute from another team come on. If you change in roster, anyone who is subs, you know, substituting a player because that player has decided to leave the team. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm talking like, so end of the season. So mm-hmm. let's say they do the divisions. Let's call it season one. So team X wins the lower division of season one, like demolishes okay. the season. I get what you're saying. Division. And then yep. rather than moving up into the top division, they just change out two players, rename the team, and say it's a new team. Yeah. Yeah. With that, so like you still got players of the same kind of caliber. You know what I mean? So they, and then what do you do with the other two players that start a team? Well, I would think that like if you keep the same team name and you change the roster, there's the, I, I think that would be fair. But if you decide to switch it up entirely, you are coming in as a new team. I would think that that would have to be, uh, I, you know, identified in the rules. Like that would have to be weeded out because it's, it's kind of like you using Smurf accounts almost, you know, you're the same player, but it's a different account. And, or even you know, if you're using different players, but you know, the, the skill level is still there. So you're just, you're not moving your, your team up because you're just rotating through your clan tags or, but whatever. the problem is, is who would determine that? And that's what that's what's sad. Like that's something you have to try and work out, and, and just hope that people aren't going to abuse the system as intended. Um, but I think a relegation system like that, where you know bottom two players or bottom two teams would be forced to, to move down, and then you know the upper two teams would have to move up, or we're guaranteed a spot moving up in the following season if they chose to play again. Yeah. Um, and Maverick, what I was referring to when I was referring to the Smurf accounts, it wasn't necessarily about the level is about um, the, uh, the the recognition of who the player is. So like that becomes an issue and there's a potential for pe- uh, one, a single person to play on multiple teams. And we just want to kind of avoid that. So that that's why Smurf accounts have been allowed unless you decide to play on the Smurf account and you let the administration know. Um, and then you keep an eye on what account is actually being used. So I, it's something like that would have to carry over into this this new system uh, next season. That's that's if they decide to go that route. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get very uh, sticky and like confusing unless some of that stuff is weeded out. I mean, the current set of rules I think is five pages, and uh, if you're gonna be running a majors and a minors, you're gonna have probably double that based on like. <laughs> other systems that are at play so i don't know it's still to be seen guys like yeah we, so we have no idea it's all speculation yeah exactly we're just spitballing things here and just saying like because there was talks of them separating into different uh divisions different completely separate groups so like we had group a b c rather than taking the top so many players of each group or the top points putting them into a playoffs it would just be a round robin of each division similar to what uh similar to what pro league does yeah um so. i do also know that there is uh a world's league that is being worked on or built i don't know if that's going to be the official name uh but i know in our our discord in the north american firewall league discord we posted a little something it's going to be managed by the um by the assassin crew uh but i think it's going to be hand-picked teams to join and i don't think it's going to be an official world but it's gonna be like the best teams from all around the world so it's going to be the upper tier kind of league and that should be coming in the future but i don't have any more information on that but that's another league to look out for uh, if you guys are interested in continuing uh the, watching all the firewall action i don't know if we're going to be covering that um it's still kind of up in the air. I know we haven't really been approached about it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just keep keep an eye out for that one as well. Yeah. Uh, so as far as interviewing winner, uh, so we usually do that one. So it'll be second round. So usually in the semifinal, semifinals is usually when we do the, uh, the player interviews. So um, if we're speculating here, uh, unknown versus uh, Hoons Goons. Um, ideally, we would touch base with one of them and say, hey, listen, after whoever wins, if you can jump in one of those in uh, Skype for a few minutes and just have a sort of, and then we use, go through the usual, you know, who do you think is going to win on the other side of the bracket? Who would you rather play against? Um, you know, what do you, and then we do the same thing at the finals as well, which, by the yeah. way, you've got to get a hold of, uh, what's his name? Frank. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I wasn't sure um, if you were going to actually say his name, but I just figured you'd know who I was talking about. I did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can work some magic there. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm going to Disney World. Yeah. Well, the inter- so the interview thing was kind of like a last minute idea. I think it was actually, I think it was Titch's idea. Uh, he he kind of brought it to the forefront, and it was a good idea. But boy, we kind of like baloneyed that up. <laughs> it, was, it was just such a hack job initially, and we were kind of rushing. But I guess uh, from what Maverick said, he's heard nothing but good things about it. So I guess it's definitely worth bringing back. I suppose if people really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, for sure. Like we. We enjoyed it when we had uh, Frosty and uh, and Vong both on at the same time. Um, after NAC won there, so we have Frosty on, um, asking what his thoughts were versus uh, chicken noodle soup. Um, I think we'd have to rearrange or have a uh, a different scene because last time we just sort of yeah we just sort of had it dropped into my, <laughs> into my square. But uh, sorry, one second, guys. That's okay. Yeah, that that was uh, that was a bit you unique. Again, like that was just an off the cuff sort of thing. So if that's something you guys want to see, it seems like that's something you guys want to see, um, according to our sources. Uh, you know, if if that's something you want to see continued, we're 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 gonna we're gonna give it to you guys. Um, yeah, and that that's true too. Assassin is that there's, there's no idea who's gonna be admin in season three. I don't want to say that this is confirmed. But I did read that um, Gutos may still stick around, uh, just maybe in a different capacity. But that's still kind of up in the air. I don't want to start any rumors, um, but I know a few people already know. I'm pretty certain it's in Captain's chat, so the majority of people have read what I read. Uh, so he said something in uh, in Discord too, right? Yeah, he said something in Discord too uh, about uh, I can't remember who was talking about what, but somebody said something. But I heard you. I thought you were leaving. And he said. Uh, um, he said something about he might be able to make it work or something. I don't know. Right? Yeah, it won't. It won't be um, Kachik or Gutos. We don't want to confirm fine. or deny anything. Like said, guys, we're just just know that it might be a little bit different next season. Uh, we're just here. We're just here chatting. That's all yeah. we're doing. <laughs> we're trying we, to get to you the information that you may not have access to. Normally, this would be 44 minutes of game time. This is just 44 minutes of us just talking about the league <laughs> Holy and what's crap, going man. on. And our own lot little, of, uh... That's a lot of talking. So, well, I mean, we're used to doing it for, you know, almost two hours. So, oh, it's, it's, it's true. But there is a lot of information. There's a lot of information out there. Um, now, I, this this was something that uh, maybe we we might have to discuss a little bit more privately, but with regards to First Contact Entertainment's new game that would be coming out, I'm wondering if that's something that we should hop on. Um, Solaris? With, yeah, with Solaris, considering that that game is going to be designed around esports. My hope is that it might have a spectator mode, which Firewall does not. But um, if you guys are maybe interested in that, maybe you can chat with us, express your thoughts and opinions around that. I can, I can tell you what I'm going to jump on. <laughs> Elijah. Oh, my God. The more I see of that game. <laughs> it looks so good. And did you see the uh, link I sent with the yeah. sword play mechanics? The fact that you can, like, toss your, like, like throw your sword around. It's, like, not bound to your hand is amazing. Yeah. For those that really don't know, good. if anybody played WoW back in the day, it looks like that. But just picture it in VR. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, and I mean, right now it's it's still an early build. Uh, so the hands in the video that they showed were purple; they weren't gloves. They were literally just purple hands. But yeah. the scenery looked beautiful. The sword looked beautiful. I think it was a rapier, um, and the responsiveness of uh, the hand grabbing the sword and throwing it up and being able to catch it in midair and stuff. It, it was it was beautiful. Um, so the team 21 studio is doing a remarkable job and they're a super small team. So if that's something that interests you guys, we can post it in discord and share that with you in the miscellaneous section. Yeah. And anyone who played wow back in the day, just picture, uh, like starting area for humans. Mm. Just outside Stormwind. That's what it looked like. 
Yeah, and the graphics were enhanced too. Like they definitely improved them from the last uh, or clip that they shared with us. That music clip, you could tell that there's more detail put into the foliage, more detail put into the building itself. We only got that one perspective, but I could clearly see it. And I did a little comparison, a side by side, when I was watching it. So, uh, yeah, they've definitely put in a lot of work. But speaking of different games um, that we could potentially cover, Rocket League One is as soon as this season is over for the north american firewall league more yeah. stuff is going to be focused more of our team's effort is going to be focused on the rocket league stuff um i know titch and paco are going to head that uh, and there's also the call of duty modern warfare tournament that's going to be happening and i'm trying to head that with a couple of my friends who are running it trying to uh you know get them up and running so those are going to be two of our focuses um moving forward after this league closes so if you're interested please let us know and we'll give you some contact information. Paco, are, are your potato hands going to be going into that uh, Modern Warfare one? It's <laughs> funny. I know he joined the group in Facebook. So, yes, you did. I didn't even in know fact, he joined. <laughs> in fact, I even... Um, <clears throat> Uh, your your name is even listed on their Saturday live stream, which is every Saturday, by the way, Eastern Standard Time, starting at 7 p.m. Um, they have a Facebook live stream that they do every Saturday, and your name was on there as a new group member for a while. So, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude had I no idea. Oh, my God. I got to get all <laughs> But yeah, if you're, I, I I do know that you had mentioned it before, Paco, that uh, you you, yeah, you want to get like, back I'm into so the game a little that. bit before, uh, before you actually commit to something. So Paco, you're still I'm part gonna... of the group, but I don't think you're part of the tournament. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh God! Oh, yeah, goodness. so Paco's joined the tournament, didn't even realize he joined it. So. Well, I don't think he. I don't think he uh, joined the tournament. He just joined the group. So uh, on Facebook. He joined the Facebook group and then got listed as being a new member of a team without <laughs> his even knowing it. So that's, that's phenomenal. But that's yeah, it. it's, a, it's a kickstart sort of thing. Um, if you guys are interested, I did post the rules. They are in our Discord. So it's a separate section. It's called um, USC. It stands for United Soldiers of COD. Um, so if you go down there, you can check out the rules. It should be accessible by anyone. So if you play Modern Warfare, if you like the flat screen uh, gaming as well, you can go ahead and check that out and see if that interests you. There is going to be a uh, registration fee, but it's super low, guys. Like it's, I think it's like five dollars per player. It's like super, super low. Um, is it Rick so. that uh, named it? Uh, there's really no official name to the tournament itself. Uh, but the original group I was say, if different. it was if it was Rick that named it, I could tell you that C was for something else. <laughs> 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 oh, what was his nickname? Ah. But what, what was... I what I can say is that like uh, you know I, I I'm the only reason why I'm even part of it is because uh, Rick and I are best friends in real life. So um, when I heard that he was going to do that, I asked if he wanted some help writing up the rules. So I wrote up the rules and they also wanted to have a new group name. And I said, OK, you guys got to put that out in a poll. We need to come up with a unique group group name if you don't want to just stick, uh, stick with the Black Ops 4 title, which they originally had. We came up with a bunch and people voted for the one that I had selected. So I kind of take pride in that. So the United Soldiers of Cod is, is the name that I came up with and was voted for. Um, but with regards to the attorney, there's there's no name for it. I'm kind of leaving that up to them because it's their project. But again, if you're interested in that sort of thing and you love modern warfare, I don't know what they did with the newest update, but holy crap, it's either more unbalanced or I, I don't know what they did, but it just it's not playing. Oh, it's same. amazing. It just absolutely destroyed Paco's computer. Yes, it did. Like <laughs> just like CPU just usage of like 80 percent. Yeah, yeah, completely destroyed just, his computer. I mean, it was a remarkable thing to watch. So it was really funny. So when it, when the game first came out, um, there was a lot of issues with that. And um, funnily enough, it was an Intel-specific problem. There was forums and forums of people with Intel. So it was like 9,900Ks, unable to play that game. Just use CPU usage off the charts. <laughs> like... 
and they brought it back with whatever. And then they fixed they it. Had. AMD AMD fanboys were rejoicing in the were, were rejoicing <laughs> in the streets, and then they got a fix, and now they've just absolutely decimated their code again. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, they did, and they didn't do any balancing whatsoever. I think the uh, Meta Gun right now is the MP5, and it's an SMG, mind you, and you can kill someone from long range with it. No SMG should ever be able to precisely aim that far away. It's a mid to short range weapon, and people are using it to get eliminations that you should get with an assault rifle or a sniper rifle. It's absolutely absurd. So what they did with the game, they need to fix it real quick. Uh, but again, if you guys are interested and you you don't mind that, all these uh, all these matches are going to be private, uh, just like the Firewall League is. It's not going to you know you're not going to try to you're, you're going to set up the game the way it needs to be set up. Um, so if you're interested, go go check that out in our Discord. Yeah, and then the Rocket League tournament, like I said, so uh, Pac and I are going to have have to hash out uh, our rules for that one because ideally we got about two weeks before. Uh, we just really got to get get it going on because two weeks, roughly, this week and next week, um, should have uh, the firewall legal wrapped up. So come mid February, we're gonna start the that tournament up. Um, but like I said, guys, those tournaments uh, for Rocket League are like fast. They uh, are. Yeah, it's five minute games. We'll do probably uh, depending on how many teams we have, probably best of five best of seven finals something yeah. like that um but five minutes a game and yeah, it's super quick so as soon as you hit three wins that's it man you're done but e- but even if even though it's super quick it is remarkable gameplay to watch like absolutely remarkable to see what some people are doing paco actually posted a link did you post it in our discord paco yeah i did for jay yeah, yeah that's what i thought if you are in our Discord and you haven't Jake checked Cosmic. out that link yet and you're interested in see what Rocket League is all about, first of all, they make it look easy. That game is not easy. The learning curve in that game, I'm still practicing. I, I'm not even good enough to play bronze. Um, so, like, it, there's a massive... <laughs> I broke Paco yesterday. Okay, so... Uh, the dribble challenge. So, okay, so on PC, if anybody plays Rocket League on PC or if you're going to get Rocket League, I highly suggest doing it on PC. Um, so they have a workshop built in um, where people have created a bunch of different sort of trainings, uh, training packs you can download. Um, and there's this one, it's the dribble challenge. So your ball has to, has to stay on your car. It cannot fall off your car, otherwise it'll fall right to the floor. God. And you've got to do like... No, thank like, you. Dude, there's like entire okay. So level was it level four? You had to do like long straightaway, ninety degree turn, straight ninety degrees. And you gotta keep the ball on your car for all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's absurd. Level Whoever came six, up with that. Okay, there was two walls you had to get around. Like you had to literally like s your way around the wall. And I was like, okay, level seven. I was like, there's this one's impossible. The walls are freaking spinning. You have to like like literally go through it then once you get past the first wall you have to slow down because the walls are offset on the timing so if you carry on the same speed you will literally like the wall will be at a point where it's just full blocking it so you have to actually slow down and then speed up with it It, it's absolutely insane was this was this documented anywhere is there video footage that i can see dude i can show you this afterwards okay yeah i definitely want to see it that just sounds insane yeah after this yeah were we streaming was this true? I don't know. I don't think I was. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I was streaming one the uh, the other day. Actually, for it, um, but it was like the first like four levels. And it yeah. Was, after like, after this, this, you're you're definitely gonna have to show me, guys. Tune in to it's that insane. right after this. Go over to Titch's channel and check it out again. Like, he plays on PC, so he has access to all these training. I'm gonna call them training modules uh, that you don't have on console. So. Um, if you head over there, you can see the skill that he's developed over 16,000 hours <laughs> that he's put that. into the game. Yeah, if you, um, you think you're good at the game until you do this. Like, pa, I, put, I was like, Paco, you got to try this. I think it was like level two. You were like, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Paco made it to level four. You can get past level four. Okay. Yeah, it's I, insane. Like, there was one where I, you have to actually, like, it, there's like physics in this in this training things that literally don't even exist in the game. So the the one that I'm currently on right now, it's like a ramp. 
you have to actually carry the ball on your car up a freaking ramp and then like launch the ball and actually get it in the it's insane it's just stupid it sounds ridiculous uh, I can't I can't wait to watch that. Um, <clears throat> what I am going to do, just to give everyone kind of a heads up um, in a little sneak peek into what that, that game is all about and what it looks like on a competitive level, if you're unfamiliar with what's good to actually watch. I did find a few awesome YouTube videos of amazing players, and I, I think they're primarily single players because, you know, you have singles, duos, and, and the trios. But... Um, yeah, I'll I'll post a link in our Discord and, and share that with you guys. Unless someone beats me to it, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> just oh, watch wait, anything Kronovi, uh Paco, anything old school Fireburner. So. Uh, so yeah, just, if, if he's gonna post, he's gonna post something uh, a link in there. If you guys want to see some Gary amazing G. skill, yeah. um, please check them out. And uh, you, you could see what you're kind of in store for. I'm not going to say that everyone who's going to play in this tournament is of that caliber. Okay. Um, no, definitely not. We've kept it below this caliber for a reason. Yeah. So if you're hesitant and you've played for a while, but you're like, oh man, I don't know if I'm that good. Don't worry. There is um, a limitation. Like there's a, there's a specific group of people. Um, I think you have to either be uh, platinum or master, right? Okay, so platinum or diamond. Sorry, yeah. platinum diamond. That, yeah. yeah, we're not playing StarCraft. Yeah, sorry. For that. <laughs> um, but yeah, check that That's out. That's where I get Master from. We will be covering that. Well, I say we, but we as a group will be covering that. I'm pretty sure uh, Titch and Paco are going to take the reins on that. I'll probably be watching with you guys unless they need me to do something. And in the finals match, um, I think it's there's not even going to – it's going to be broadcast, but I don't think there's going to be any active – uh, commentary you're we're just going to be listening to um the chat which the chat yeah, so, is 100 percent amazing at times so basically yeah so our plan for this is so paco and i aren't really playing in the tournament we're doing all the casting for it um so what we're going to do is when it's actually all done and somebody has won the tournament uh paco and i are going to do a friendly with them do like a best of seven or something with them or a best of five depending on what we're doing for time and how we feel um and you guys can sort of see the communication from between Paco and I, and just the, and ha that way we can have a play a game, have a little bit of fun, and you guys can see what it's like, uh, you know, on the team side. Yeah, and these guys play together a lot. So if you want to check them out when they play Rocket League, uh, make sure you follow them over on their Twitch channel. It's really fun and entertaining, especially sometimes listening to Paco. He's just like, "Wow, yeah, I suck. Uh, what was that, uh, man? Why am I even playing?" Paco. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go left. jump out of the window real quick. <laughs> I'm like, on your left. His commentary alone, just <laughs> in game, is 100% worth it. Not saying that Titch doesn't say funny stuff. We all know Titch is absolutely hilarious, and he busts on Paco all the time. But like these two guys are just—they're funny, they're entertaining, and to boot, they're really good at the game. So I'm go so, go follow them over on their the channels. Window, the one time we were playing, and all of a sudden. <laughs> Paco literally just like his car stops and he just goes, I gotta go jump out the window, be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he missed like an open goal or something like that. So it was like funny. an open net, just completely whiffed it. I'm like, what I, the hell? He's just like, I gotta go jump out the window, be right back. I think that was the first time I was watching where I really I really tuned in to Paco and I was like, I like this guy. Like I I've listened to him on occasion, but this guy's yeah, he's, he's definitely someone to watch. Um, super, super funny. But uh, I, at this point, we're, we're going on an hour. Actually, we are at an hour. Yeah, I don't so know how much longer we want to go, but that's kind of an update of everything that's happening. Obviously, tonight's match has been delayed. It's going to be pushed to tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the Amateur Hour Commentary Channel. Uh, it's going to be between Chicken Noodle Soup and Need 3. And this match is going to determine who goes up against NAC in the next match. Um, also, again, uh, a little bit more information of what we're planning to do on as a channel. Um, there's a lot of information in the Discord. If you're not part of the Discord, join it um, and you know, you share with us your thoughts and opinions and things that you might want to see. But that's all I got. Did you got anything else, my man? No, like I said, if you guys want to check out a little bit of Rocket League, Paco, are you gonna be, uh, are you gonna switch over? Are you gonna switch over to Rocket League? Are, are we gonna play? Yeah. All right. So yeah, I think you guys want to. Head, well, we'll probably be going live. Probably give me like five ten minutes, uh, and then I'll Paco and I will be doing uh, a little bit of games. Probably some twos. 
Yeah, and I've got to lost my champ on twos. So uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry that there was no match, but for all those who actually stuck around, a lot of you actually stuck around to listen to us banter. Um, really appreciate that. Yeah. You guys are awesome. You're super loyal. We love you guys. Uh, if we don't say that enough, um, we, you know, there it is again. But that's it for now. This is the Amateur Hour Commentary Channel. I'm your host, the Wolf uh, Craze, joined by uh, my co-host, Titch1987, with Casper in the back. Um, that's it for now. And until next time, folks, peace.